Today in the wood yard, we're gonna uncover the splitter. And we're splitting some wood. We're gonna head over to the pile of maple over there. We're gonna start making it into little pieces. Here we go. It has been a month since I split wood because I've been gone for a few weeks. I just haven't put any time into splitting. And uh, the last thing I did when I was in the wood yard, obviously was delivering wood, you saw some of that, but um, I did some splitting here and then I did a bunch of cutting over in the maple and I just feel like splitting today. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna fill it up and we're gonna drag it over there and we're gonna do some splitting is the plan. But since I split last, the splitter is kind of buried, as you can see, kind of right into the pile here. So I got to dig some of the wood out so I can turn it this way and I can pull it around and over to the maple. So that's what I'm going to do right now. We're going to dig her out and then we're going to pull it over there. And I know someone's going to ask me, how come I don't use my lawnmower or an ATV or a tractor or my truck or some way to pull the splitter over there? We just had in the last four days, probably three, four inches of rain. Last night it rained all night long. All of the, uh, property around here has standing water all over in the low spots and if I was to drive on this right now I would all I would do is make ruts and I would tear it all up so I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to pull it over there that's what I'm going to do and it'll work out just fine just watch so we're going to get her uncovered here get some of this wood that's kind of pinning it in because when I got done I uh, just left it because it was kind of sandwiched in here and covered it up and then I went and uh, did some cutting and then after that I went and I did beaver trapping so I've been gone for a while but I'm ready to get back at it that is for sure I'm kind of anxious to get back at making wood again and uh, my summer deliveries for campfire wood are going to happen right now I've actually already started There, pallet should be out of the way enough. Now I can get it turned. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And one thing about when you pull it around without machinery is you cannot have anything in front of the wheels or you can't move it. Well, at least I can't. I don't have enough horsepower. Maybe you're stronger than me, which doesn't take much. There we go. Oh, I think I can get it to move. Oh, yeah, much better. Okay, here we go. Got to go uphill until I get to the parking lot, so this is not an easy drag. Plus, with the ground being soft, the wheel's going to want to sink in. Oh, my gosh. Come on, baby. Holy smokes. A little bit of a grade and soft ground. Not easy. Ooh. Made it to the lot. Now it'll be easier. Now I'm on blacktop, it rolls way easier. It's actually not bad at all. It's still heavy though. And uh, if you look over to the left, you can see the wood, that's where I'm going. And I'm going to back the splitter because I want the wood to fall off next to the spruce tree there. There we go. Whew, that's enough of that. Now it's time to start splitting. Well, I just gassed up the splitters full of gas. Checked the oil. I looked like it was just a little bit low. I haven't changed the oil now in I think two truckloads. So 50 hours or something like that of splitting maybe. Nah, not even that much. Probably more like 40 hours of splitting, if that. And some other stuff that I've split. I've split some uh, stuff that I've cut and my splitter now has split, I think I'm right at seven truckloads that I've split with it. And it's working just fantastic. Uh, runs great, starts great, have had no problems at, at all with it. 
and I abuse it. I do not baby any of my equipment. All the equipment I have, I use, and I use it a lot. So it's stood up to everything I could throw at it. So for the average guy that's gonna buy a splitter, this is an awesome machine. Uh, for the price, fantastic. The speed, can move it around. Um, it just works great. There's some features, obviously, it doesn't have. It doesn't have a log lift. This is not hydraulically adjustable. It is adjustable up and down the wedge. But everything about it works just fantastic. So we're gonna start it up, and uh, we're gonna do some splitting. It's been almost a month since it's been started, so we'll see what happens here. Haven't started it yet. This will be a cold start, so let's see what she's got. The way I like it, nothing but the best for my splitter.
They're back. I found Cookie and Woody hiding back there, so I brought them back so you could all see them again. They haven't been here in a while, so they're out. So I had a couple hours to split. It's uh, not a lot of time, but I got a little bit done. I got to start on it anyway. Um, I don't know how much is there. It's a pile. So in a couple hours, I can usually do two full cords. That's probably about what I've got done. And I made a good dent in the pile over here. And doing the cookies, just splitting them and throwing them off to the side like this so they can go back into the cookie pile. But I wanted to get a hole dug out back in here because my plan is, is once I get this front area here, I'm gonna put the splitter right here and then start trucking stuff right in there. Cause I want stuff to be kind of back this way so I can get all this stuff right in through here, split in here, and then start working on that pile and chuck it this way. Cause I want it to be this way as tight as I can get it. So I get another load in over there. So that's the plan. So, that's it for tonight. Thanks for being here. Please hit the buttons, the like, the subscribe, the share. You know what to do. Hit them all. It's the fun thing to do. Tomorrow I'm going to be back here. You should be back here. Between now and then, get outside, get cotton, split, you know, stack wood, do something. Do something useful out in the woods. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Irene. <laughs>